first group of friends. Right. So like, I knew I could, I could do they say like trying to lead atheists is like lead, uh, herding cats. You know, <laughs> uh, everybody wants to take off in their own direction, but we only agree on one question. Would you be okay if I recorded it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> no. All right, so. Thank you so much. So unbeknownst to the people uh, who are watching this, you and I are pretty good friends. We are. We've known each other for a pretty long while, and it's actually been uh, a really interesting path. Going from an atheist who dis or a person who realized he didn't have a good reason to believe in a God uh -huh. in Georgia to realizing I don't have a community that I can like come to, and I'm moving to a new city. So I'm literally really by myself. Mm -hmm. I just came out to my parents as like an atheist. They were like, fine, but we when don't really... Was that? Uh, it was literally the year I came back from Sweden, so like the year just before I graduated. So like, this is like a, a whole year term of sure. like graduating, everything's changing, new city, no one I can talk to. And I remember at my house, I don't know how I found it, I really don't, but it was like, I saw, it was either the YouTube page or it was the meetup group but there was like I wasn't a member yet, so I couldn't see inside you, of it. You didn't do a search. I did a search on Meetup for like uh, atheists, atheists to okay. see like maybe there are some. Right. And well, that's that's the reason I named my group atheists because I was a member of the Rationalist Speech Tennessee, and they wouldn't use the A word. Ah. And so they weren't getting people yes. that were searching for the A word. Right, because I knew I was an atheist, but I didn't know what were atheist groups or if there even was one. And I saw literally just a picture of you and like I think Forrest in front of a book, and I was like, well, if it's only two guys, it may not even be a group anymore. Right. So I was like, let me just, <laughs> let me just copy and paste this email and I'll be like are you guys even still a group and you're like yeah sure come down this time this place and I came back and I think my world's completely changed even after that and I'm I can't tell you how amazing that was so glad to hear that. yeah and uh, the group that you saw was like 25 30 people wasn't it right? yeah it was good, huge good, yeah good, group, right? good food great conversation yeah. and a diverse group too right. that made me feel immediately comfortable yeah. Yeah. one thing I like to tell people is that come on down with guaranteed good, good uh, conversation uh, because, I mean, I was single for a long time, and sitting at the house, you didn't get any conversation. Right. I mean, we tend to talk about religious stuff, but then again, we all agree on that. Yeah. So we tend to talk about other things as well. Right. And uh, we're generally uh, pretty sharp individuals, and mm. we, we tend to go off on pretty much any conversation, and, and uh, you can, we pretty much guarantee it. And something I think I really appreciated more than anything else was that all the atheists were only in agreement that they didn't believe in a God, but they had at different levels, right. they had different political views, mm -hmm. they had you know different outlooks on family, right. laws, political, anyth everything was right. different. And it was just nice to have a really diverse group of friends. Right. So like, I knew I could, like, they say like trying to lead atheists is like lead, uh, herding cats. You really <laughs> can't do that. Uh, everybody wants to take off in their own direction, but we only agree on one question. Okay. Um, but we also have pretty much agreement on science and supernatural stuff. And, sure. Um, oh, let me flip this over. Sorry about that. Sure. But um, we do agree on, on the God question, and that's what makes us atheists. Okay. It really uh, was disheartening to hear about the group that you found in, in uh, Kentucky, that yeah. they, they're authoritarian, that they, that they have a harsh stance right. on a particular uh, belief mm. that if you don't match that particular belief or have an even more open mind yeah. about it then uh, they don't want you right. that, that, that really hurt what I'm hoping though is that through the effort of like what I'm doing with this project I can hopefully, hopefully start like my own subgroups that are a little bit more open and willing to like question even their own positions mm -hmm. but I wouldn't have gotten that courage if I had not have met you and I probably wouldn't have gone this far if I hadn't met you either I just want to say I'm really thankful well, thank you very much I, I appreciate that cool uh, so nice you tell me. we got three minutes let me see if I can destroy a belief of yours with like okay. my my okay. Jedi I'm mind tricks my <laughs> 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 I like cameras that are amazing. Um, so let's pull something fun. Uh, normally I, I I bring up a topic, or normally the person brings up whatever they want to believe, but I like the existence of souls right. thing, okay? So you 
don't think that souls exist is arrogant, and you're really confident uh, on that. Pretty confident. Pretty confident. Mm -hmm. How confident are you? Would you say you want to use a scale? You don't have to use a scale if you don't want it. Well, I'd say ninety percent. Ninety percent. Okay. Why are you not? Why are you so confident? I like to keep an open mind. I mean, if I, get evidence, <laughs> I love that. If I get evidence, you know, yep. I would believe it. I just okay. have not seen any evidence for any kind of afterlife. Okay. Um, humans, germs. Mm -hmm. Dogs, cats, you know, whatever. Why would I believe something in insufficient evidence or no evidence? Would you say if you had evidence, you would increase your confidence that a, conf a soul exists? So it's really if it was credible evidence. There's all kinds of evidence. yeah. I was about evidence. to say there's a whole scale of evidence. yeah. I can show you some yeah. Christian Science journals that tell you right. well, they, from multiple uh, authors. You know, that, ask a Christian what his evidence. He's going to plop down the Bible and mm -hmm. say that's it. Well, you say well, yeah, that's evidence, but is it credible? It's just ah. a, it's just a, a book of. A, 2,000 year old stories based okay. on what people, very superstitious people, would tell each other a long time ago. Is that credible? Mm. What makes something credible? Um, or what well, scientific evidence. Testable? Uh, testable, mm. repeatable. Okay. Um, um, being able to pass your peer review. Ah, uh, that's that, important. That would make a difference. Um, but where in, I mean, Christians and Muslims and a, a lot of different religions. Even uh, Buddhism, where they're talking about uh, reincarnation, have a belief in a soul, mm. and that's been going on for two thousand, three thousand years. Even um, the ancient Egyptians, you know, uh, they believed that the Pharaoh's soul was going to go to the stars through a passage that they put in the pyramid. And, sure. And even the the people of the uh, ancient Egyptians believed in soul. Over all that time, there's not been any credible evidence put forward for the existence of, of a soul. And once you do that, doesn't that just knock all these religions that are based on the existence of a soul out the window? Can I throw something at you? Really? Is it possible for something to factually exist but have no credible evidence for it yet? Is it, can you give the question again? Is it possible for something to actually do exist, exist? In, re yes. in reality but not have any credible evidence for its existence yet? Yeah. Is that could that not be the case for souls? Could be. Okay. Then can I throw something? That's that where right? the ten percent comes from. <laughs> <laughs> Is really the belief not so much that you don't believe that a soul exists because it could exist, but you you know for a fact that there's no credible you're, evidence you're, for souls. You're conflating knowledge yeah. with belief. Oh see, I don't have any knowledge of souls. Okay. I don't believe in souls. It's the same as God. Uh, so your function any, of your I can't say that I have knowledge that God doesn't exist sure. or exist. Okay. I have no knowledge, so I'm an agnostic when it, uh, in, when it comes to the question of God. Hmm. And I'm pretty much in the same boat with, with, with the uh, belief in souls. Hmm. I don't have, I'm an agnostic where it comes to souls uh, exist or not, but I don't believe in it. Hmm. I just, it's, I don't believe it. I might ask, I will, I will rephrase my question to make more clear. Sure. I'm not asking about knowledge, I'm not asking about belief, just about confidence. Mm -hmm. And as far as confidence goes, you're at least more confident that there's no good evidence that, or credible evidence that a soul exists than you are that souls don't point, exist. At this point, you okay. were saying earlier that if, if evidence were presented, mm -hmm. or if even if souls existed but had no evidence that we know about currently, mm -hmm. uh, if, that not, if that evidence came to common knowledge yeah. or was able to be demonstrated in a scientific lab or repeatable or peer reviewed, then I would change my mind and I would believe in them. And Do I think then, that that evidence is, is out there? No, I don't, but it can be. Okay. You know, it can be. Yeah. Uh, once it comes to life, it is a good time to start believing. That's right. It, the time to believe is when the evidence presents itself. Hmm. And to say, I don't know, it's good, hmm. but that's talking knowledge. I normally say, and I, so my, my way of doing it, see, is if someone says something that meets a standard of evidence for me, I'm fine with saying I agree. And if you say, I don't know because I don't have enough evidence, mm -hmm. that is a very mundane but reasonable claim compared to someone who says, I believe this, but I don't have enough evidence. Now you've triggered right. my st standard right. of evidence. Now I want to ask more questions. But I think right. at this point, I'm fine with that. Right. And remember the knowledge, belief. Is different, and a lot of people can play those. Yeah, and not only that, but I notice that when I bring up questions about confidence, it tends to be dragged into a knowledge or belief arena where I'm not talking about either one of those. I think right. it's its own separate scale. That's kind of like why I like to make the scale more sure. explicit. But yeah, right. I you think you can say it's a combination of two, or maybe where they overlap. Maybe yeah, that's interesting. I never thought about that.
Oh, there's something else. Yeah. Thank you, Larry. Anytime. Huh? Thank, Thank you. Thank you for everything, Larry. I appreciate it. <laughs> would you have an issue if I put this on the internet? I May not. I get your consent? I would not have an issue. <laughs> no, this is cool.